Oh hey, thanks, I just got an achievement. Welcome to... Am I allowed to say that? Uh, 11-7. So if you looked at the video title, you probably already know what this video is about. And if you didn't read the title, then that means you just looked at the thumbnail. Which, if you looked at the thumbnail, you probably also know what this video is about. <laughs> this video is how to use the pack free editor. Also, I am extremely sorry for free Gmod videos straight in a row. Even though I've done that with Roblox, but we don't talk about that right now. So, obviously what you will need is the pack free editor. Um, it will be linked in the description below. Although I do recommend go like actually opening the Steam app and go like software and going into it and finding it. It's very simple, just pack free. It's actually re-upload version because uh, for some reason it got like removed and re-added in like a day. So once you have a pack, you will go open. You will need to open the pack free editor, obviously, and you will see your player model now. Um, what I recommend is if you right click you will see typos and that is what I recommend you do. Also if you have any tools equipped obviously I don't know what I'm going to do anyway. You can just go to tools, show only with active weapon and hit hide weapon. That will do it. Now what you'll need to do is see this area right here. This is your workspace. You will need to go to uh, right click again and hit group and once you're on that zero children right click on that and hit model. And obviously, every single model uh, will have this. Like it'll, this is the default thing. Now you can go choose what you want for that. Now you could get things from your workshop, and there are a ton of items I have in my workshop. Uh, I'm not going to use any really right now because uh, those really aren't really a good example thing. Like I have stuff for platoon. I'll show you all that advanced stuff later, but still uh so let's just find something normal uh, uh team fortress 2 team fortress 2 has some pretty cool hats now you don't want this team fortress 2 up here with like all the things you want the file one down here and uh you're gonna have to keep clicking on those and let's go to uh for like hats let's probably go to player items and uh all classes oh, oh wow so now we got a bunch of hats that we can mess around with, but uh, so let's just say I wanted to. Uh, what do we? What do we want to do? Uh, let's just say I wanted to give Mickey. Let's say if I wanted to give Miffy, Mickey, Miffy, Mickey a winter scarf. Uh, uh, then I, I would just uh, see these. So you see these here. These are what you can use to like kind of like rotate it. This obviously like moves it from whichever angle you were looking at it from and depending on which angle these are pointing it would also uh, move that like way in that direction as well if that made any sense and also the whole time while your character is in t-pose they will be staring at you so now you want to line it up with there but here's the thing you have to attach it to a specific bone because it will be just like a specific it's just it'll just bound to the bone like, it'll be bound to the because as you can see, if I turn on Mickey, he will, well, he apparently, ugh, he's got to prove me wrong. And sometimes, and so you want to go over to here, uh, it's under orientation, right under the thing where models is. And you will go to bone right here and then click on this. You'll see it'll be bound to the head. This will bring up a bunch of little squares that you can uh, use and select. I will pick uh, spine or, or neck for this and I think it moves the thing. Yeah it does. I don't know why it does that but yeah you'll have to reposition it. Therefore why I suggest that you use the bone, do the bone first and uh, just once you realign it if you re if you hit un, like unti-pose and yeah there we go. Now once you're done with that you will go to pack right where it says right here and click where so that everyone can see what you have added then once you're done with that click exit and then there you go you are wearing a wonder scarf obviously you won't be able, you sometimes won't be able to see it right away because I was just using holding a camera but it wasn't there for some reason and yeah now you're wearing a wonder scarf it'll even be on you when you die the power of technology today. It'll even be on you when you respawn. Whoa! Look at that! 
Whoa! What the, golly! Golly gee! Wow! Yeah, but once you get done with the pack editor, you can basically add anything, even other player models. Lead to monstrosities like this. Welcome to the Shag Mickey. This is Shaggy Mickey. Okay, I didn't make this. Slowles made this, my good friend, my good pal. And it is truly beautiful. Make sure you tell him in the comments how beautiful this is. I mean, look at this. You could see Mickey. He even gave him a little peek hole. L look at this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs>